Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's a bitterly cold wind, so I've actually set the wood stove. I've lit the wood stove in here um, to warm it up. It's too chilly to suit me. I uh, might end up using the wood stove to heat up some lunch too. But um, I'm just getting ready. I've got my hot water to rinse um, all the glue that I get off my hand on my hands when I'm tiling. And I'm going to take the spacers out of this section that I did and get ready to do the next section of tiles. So I'm just trying to get organized. Um, Chris is up helping Bob uh, put roof trusses, I think, on their cabin today. So I'm on my own, but I used to do all of this on my own and I loved it. These um, are not too bad uh, as far as spreading the glue and everything uh, for my wrists. But um, I'm going to try and get as much as I can done again today because I'm super excited about getting um, the grout done and having this look more finished. Chris also got uh, that door uh, on yesterday and I'm hoping if he gets home today we might have enough time to get those um, handles on the wood and get my little baskets hung. And then I just have to figure out what to do with that uh, last handle. And I also got the eggs collected today. Uh, one hen was sitting on six of the eggs. So it wasn't the one with the black mark on its beak. So I don't know if I've identified Betty properly or maybe we'll end up with two broody hens. But uh, before I get started today, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. We really appreciate it in helping to build the channel. I'm just going to get all of these spacers uh, pulled out of here so that I have them down there at the next section. Some of them are really stuck. I might have to get the pliers to get some of them out. This looks pretty good, I think. definitely wearing my safety glasses because this stuff is brutal. Glass tiles, you just get so much shards flying everywhere and um, you really don't want to take the chance. Now I'm just looking at what I need here for cut pieces. Chris cut this tile yesterday to get a little piece. Um, can't remember where it was. It, oh, we needed it for the sides here. That's what it was. So, uh, and again, we don't throw the stuff away because this is actually going to be, I just have to take a little bit more off here and a little more off the side, and this tile will be perfect for this spot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it skinny enough there. I might just have to make it the right width and settle for that. And because by the time this gets in and the screw is on, there's really just going to be a grout line pretty much there anyway. But I just want to get these ones cut if I can. And, um, and these for around here. And then I'm kind of off to the races. It makes it a lot easier, um, you know, to work in here and then just have Chris um, cutting while I'm doing the other stuff. But most of these are going to be L's. Um, also kept those have both ends cut off them. So I will use probably one of the broken that tile that had a crack in it to do the other part here. I just want to check on my tiles to make sure they're not slipping too much. Um, I could go ahead and put these ones on too it gets too dry. 
that's always a little bit of a race too, is to keep these things going when the adhesive is drying as well. This is supposed to be a bad pile, or it seems like they're all bad to me now. Like I say, six or half dozen, I guess. Okay, so I need to cut a red one and a white one here. Um, that needs to be... don't like these big tape measures. I'm going to go try taking this much off of here and go down as low as I can um, to cut this one. We'll see what happens. Again, it didn't break. I shaved a couple more lines off it and it didn't break, so I'm so happy about that. Uh, I'm sure Christopher will be happy too that I didn't. Because you see, if I had left that um, obstructing the screw, when he goes to um, put the screw in for the plug, it would actually, it would probably break the tile. So now I can get this um, white one done and that way I'll have the spacers all the way up to keep this from sliding down the wall, these ones here. So I'm pretty happy with that. So there's that one cut with any look at all. Nope, I gotta take um, more off here. But I went a little under because I'd rather have to shave a little more off than cut too much. So I'm gonna take another quarter of an inch off of here and um, see how that works. Second try, let's see how this looks. That's pretty darn good. Now I've got to cut another L out of that one, and I'm not sure about underneath the um, light. It might need a skinny piece like that. And that's going to be a red one as well. And again, like I said, I have to make sure that I'm not covering these little holes um, when Chris goes to put the... Uh... So I'm going to say inch and three quarters and two inches inch and three, inch and three quarters and two inches I'm going to start with that and uh, see how it fits that's uh, my marking I'm taking this part out so I'll see how this fits after I cut it and like I say I can always make adjustments okay, let's see this one fits. That's pretty good. I took probably a little more off than I should have, but um, it's not too bad. Basically, I need to cut it down here and then go really close down here. And um, I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. I might even just, if this breaks off, I might just put it on. And, um, you know, it ends up with a tiny little grout line. Or the crack might not even show by the time because of where it is. Now, as I suspected, it did break. But I think by the time I stick it on there, I don't think it's really going to be noticeable. So I'm going to try it anyway. 
I just wanted to mention, this is the leftover piece of Schluter from the bathroom. It's the half inch. And it occurred to me that um, these might just keep sliding down. So I went to find a piece of wood, couldn't find anything that would go in between here without me setting saws up. Uh, this was sitting by the door, so I screwed it in place, drew a line from one countertop to the other, uh, screwed that in place, and that way my tiles can sit on that until they're dry and it'll keep them from sliding down because that would really muck up this whole area if that started to happen, especially when you get over to here. If these have slid down and you can't match up your grout lines, then that would look really nasty. So I've got my adhesive on. I'm just going to um, scrape it off with the trowel and then I can get to work um, putting some more tiles in here. See how many spacers I have when I can get done here. So, in it every time I put a tile on. <laughs> I'm worse than a little kid. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you know, it's gotten to the end where um, so many of the tiles are really have clear around the edges, which doesn't make me happy because it's going to end up being rated eye level. Oh well. It doesn't show as much once they're on the white adhesive on the white background, so it's not too bad. All in all, happy with these tiles and I didn't have to buy new ones. Well, I am really happy with this. Um, I had a little trouble with those ones up there. They kept breaking, which is weird. Um, usually they only break when there's like a little tiny piece you're trying to cut off. Now, um, I have decided where we had to cut the little pieces up the side on the other cabinet. I'm going to get Chris to put the same molding here that he's putting everywhere else. Um, because when it's on the sides here, I was thinking about putting something there anyway. So now that I have this little strip of tiles going up here, that, again, you know what I always say, it's like getting poked in the eye. So if we put that there, um, it covers that up and the difference in size won't be as noticeable on the both sides, but those little pieces are going to make me go squirrely. Can't handle that, especially when it works out that it's going to be the same under that cabinet. Can't do it. So if I put this molding like this, or should I say if I make Chris put this molding like this, that'll take care of that. <laughs> But I have run out of spacers, so I'm going to have to do that little section tomorrow. So I'm just going to clean up the trowels and everything. And um, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I can taste the dust from the tile saw in my mouth. <laughs> it's so gross. My face is covered in it. I wore the safety glasses, but you just get sprayed. And, and the wind is coming this way too. So the wind is actually spraying you with that crap that's coming off the tile saw. So I'm going to uh, finish up for today and uh, go have a shower, get this grime off, and uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your family and friends, and we'll see you next time.